I kind of joked this was even going to happen before the game was out, that I would finish my config and it would probably be a week after everyone had already been playing the game, but... <laughs> I mean, that's... that's what happens. Um, I was specifically holding off on this too because the game now officially supports mixed input, so I obviously wanted to do an updated version of that, and the other version that I put out, which... the Cyberpunk Clunk? That was all gamepad, and that was really... the focus of that was just to try to get the mouse-like joystick feeling okay, because the game was blocking virtual mouse and keyboard. And then the day that I uploaded that is when we figured out that you could edit the hex, and then some mods were enabling it regardless, long story short. I do not consider that to be a fully tested, polished config. It was really just a proof of concept, so you could play the game with mouse-like joystick, and it was feeling decent. This one that I just uploaded, I would consider more tested. Yeah, let's just go over some of the things. You know, we have a soft pull. I fire. I full pull, flick up, and I reload. Now that is a flick up to... Okay, I just had to... Found a little problem with it. It had an action layer that it didn't need it, so I just deleted that, and then I will upload it again through the... You know, through the course of playing with it for five minutes, yeah, through this video. So, as I was saying, I went back to the gyro swipe, and that, instead of being a separate action layer, I made it a little bit more consistent and just dumped it under here as a mode shift. Left trigger full pull, you have up is X, down is Y, gyro is always on. It's laid out in the opposite of the face buttons, and the reason I did that is for stealth. So when you're coming up behind somebody, you, you know, so you would full pull, jerk up to grab them, and then down to do a non-lethal, which right now is Y, which is switch, was switching the weapon. And that does require a little bit more discipline with gyro. Just make sure that you, you know, let go of that full pull so you don't accidentally, because this, you know, it's like, whoop, whoop, it's, it's going to keep firing X or Y. So let me, uh, yeah, let's try it with these guys. Also, this is, that's another little tweak that I made while you're holding, while you're holding left bumper right trigger, single click. Okay, that's a good guy. Right, right trigger, regular press is to mark him. Long press is the execute. Okay, so let me see if I can get up here and show what I'm talking about. Reboot optics. All right. That should let me sneak up on him so I can show you this. So I'm going to long press trigger. Rebooting optics. Full pull. Flick up. Flick down. That's it. And it feels really nice. So that is that is that. The other thing is I I was struggling in the other config with the dodge. That is just simply a click now. I was putting it under a mode shift and that was just I had it working, but I was not liking it because it was interrupting with it was creating conflicts with this trigger. So now that's because I'm aiming. That's a a cyber perk or whatever I have. So it doesn't interrupt the aiming at all with the soft pull trigger. And a bonus is you could be running and just click it and you go straight into a slide. But it's just a single click. You never have to double click. And that was something that was bugging me in the other profile. Like I was keeping left stick click on that left pad. I don't use it. I have sprint on an outer edge push. 
So it was really just for legacy stuff, and I just put it in case you need it, which I have not yet. I put it on left stick click. Left stick is all just D-pad stuff, which you also have right pad clicks, or just, you know, the edge clicks are all the D-pad. Middle is right stick click. Photo mode would be left stick, right stick together. Eh, screw that. You just do a long press on select is photo mode, 2x press is a quick save. And then photo mode makes everything all gamepad just to make it easier for the camera. So we just long press. And now this is joystick camera and gyro is mouse joystick. And I, I'm really overdressed for the desert, but that's, that's how I roll. B just unloads that layer and then you're right back. Uh, it's taking cover. Yeah, because that was something too with that full pull. So you come out, go down, full pull, flick up. So you can load while you're still behind cover. So in the ore, you could come up, fire, full pull, flick up. And you'll dip down into cover. The grips, the grips are jump and jump, jump and crouch. You know, I suppose if you wanted, you could, yeah, like that. Ugh, I don't, I hate that double. That, that feels much better just as the click on the edge. That, you're seeing the, uh, that's the ricochet from my bullets. Now the only, yeah, that is one thing. The only thing I noticed is it doesn't register virtual mouse in the map. Which isn't a deal breaker. You don't really use right stick anyways in the map screen. So you just need to keep using joystick move on the left pad for the map, for the map screen. That's really the only limitation that I found. Um, another thing that I added in was... Okay, so like right pad would be scroll, right stick. Well, we don't have right stick. So the left stick is D-pad. But if you touch right pad, then it's scroll. And that's just so you can scroll through scroll through things in the menus like reading documents and such. Now that also can help out, like I tried to describe it here, plus right pad touch equals scroll. It's just a corded press on up and down that changes D-pad to scroll wheel turbo. But aside from scrolling through documents, one nice thing is, like you have the D-pad as a scroll, but it won't go all the way, and if you hold it down, it that's just the game. It's pulling up the phone because phone is long press D-pad down. We'll put your thumb on the touchpad, now it's scroll wheel. It woo. goes in and out, and that will work in scan mode too. All right. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm losing daylight here. So, yep, that's all I got. All right, I will see you around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Is she trying to proposition an empty car? Well, hi, honey bun. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You have a very a jar with your name on it. sensual and erotic car. I would like to proposition your car. How much? How much for a good time with this car? <laughs> whoa, whoa! She has a. I haven't noticed that before. Pink smoke. That's pretty cool. How that's like diffusing, like a diff. No, I'm just actually admiring the shading. That's pretty cool how it's like 
blurry and diffused. Huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's it. I gotta, I gotta stop before I get myself in trouble. Plump, juicy wieners are dipped in a thick, golden, southern-style corn batter that seals in all their freshness and flavor. If you like hot dogs, you love corn dogs. Everybody does. Try a corn dog with your favorite beverage. At the refreshment corner now. Corn dogs. <laughs>